all of us harbor dark recesses of violence and horror. I'm just a man hiding in the corner with a camera, watching. Mr. Hitchcock, you're the most famous director in the history of the medium, but you're 60 years old. Shouldn't you just quit while you're ahead? This is murder. I'm getting blisters just watching you. He's going out of his mind looking for his next project. I need something fresh, something different. It was the knife that, a moment later, cut off her scream and her head. Charming. Doris Day should do it as a musical. Good afternoon. This looks psycho, this fiendishly entertaining. Is this really going to be your next picture? Yes, madam. By the way, try the finger sandwiches. They're real fingers. No one respects the name Hitchcock more than Paramount. But even a talented man sometimes backs the wrong horse. This is Mr. Hitchcock's next film. Fine. If you can get the money. Who do I make it out to? Well, are we going to have to sell the whole house or just the pool? You are intrigued, aren't you? Killing off your leading lady halfway through the movie. How are you going to shoot this shower scene? It's only that, well, from here up, I'm not exactly boyish. You shouldn't wait till halfway through. Kill her off after 30 minutes. Well. Wow. Aren't you letting him do something so tasteless? Don't upset yourself, darling. It's only a bloody movie. More anger! More! Ah! You're married to a man obsessed by murder. This will not be released in this country. Show me some damn footage now! I'm under extraordinary pressures on this picture, and the least you can do is give me your full support! We've mortgaged our house! I am your wife. I celebrate with you when the reviews are good, I cry for you when they are bad, and I put up with those people who look through me as if I were invisible, because all they can see is the great and glorious genius Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Mother, I wouldn't tell. 